Magnets are cool. Electricity is cool too. Now that's enlightening. Electricity and magnetism might seem like two very distinct principles, but what if I told you that they're more connected than you think? Wow! <laughs> Let's break it down. I'm driving down the street. My sister on the sidewalk over there sees me moving. However, from my point of view, I'm stationary, and she's the one that's moving. Who's right? The answer is both of us are right. We're observing the same scene, but from different reference frames or different points of view. Now my sister is going to eat a banana. This is unarguable. No matter what reference frame we're in, my sister is always going to be eating the banana. The key takeaway from this is that even though me and my sister had different perspectives of the same situation, the events of the situation always stayed the same. Special relativity makes this more interesting. Einstein discovered that when an object, like my car, is moving, it will squish from the perspective of an observer, like my sister. This effect is only noticeable to us humans when the object is traveling close to the speed of light, but even when it's traveling at low speeds, the object squishes just a little. A few more things before we get into the really cool stuff. A charge is affected by both electric and magnetic forces. If a charge is positive, it is attracted by negative charges and repelled by other positive charges. Magnetism is a little more complicated, but all we need to know for now is that a wire carrying an electrical current creates a magnetic field around it which only affects moving charges, not stationary charges. Alright, now we have everything we need. Imagine an electrically neutral wire carrying an electrical current. In this wire, there are an equal amount of protons and electrons. From our reference frame, the protons stay stationary while the electrons move toward the right. Now, a happy little positive charge, who we'll call George, is moving outside of the wire at the same speed as the electrons. From our reference frame, since there are an equal number of protons and electrons in the wire, George experiences no net electric force. However, since George is a positive charge moving parallel to the current carrying wire, he experiences a magnetic force. But what if we think about the same situation in George's reference frame? In his reference frame, George isn't moving, and the electrons aren't either, but the protons are. However, since George isn't moving in his reference frame, he can't experience a magnetic force, since a charge needs to be moving for a magnetic force to act on it. Since George must experience a force in both frames, what's going on? How can we explain this? This is where special relativity comes in. From our reference frame, the wire is electrically neutral, but George disagrees. Since George sees the protons moving, they squish in his reference frame, increasing the density of protons. Since George sees the electrons as stationary, they stretch in his reference frame, since they were squished in our reference frame, decreasing the density of electrons. From George's point of view, the wire is more positively charged than negatively charged, so he experiences an electric force. In our reference frame, George was affected by a magnetic force. But in George's reference frame, he was affected by an electric force. And here's the kicker. Because both reference frames are equally correct and acceptable, that means that magnetic forces and electric forces are the same phenomena, just observed from different perspectives, like two sides of the same coin. I find this amazing, that two seemingly distinct principles in our world are so deeply connected in a complex but beautiful way, and I hope you find that amazing too. Thanks for watching.